Elkhorn, Wisconsin is a pleasant small town located in the southern part of the state in Walworth County. If only passing through, you might assume that it is like any other small, sleepy area in the American Midwest. You would be wrong. Beyond the beautiful downtown and peaceful countryside lies a story like few that you have probably heard. It seems that Elkhorn is home to more than friendly locals and typical Wisconsin wildlife. According to many accounts, this small town is also home to a werewolf. This is the story of the Beast of Bray Road. In 1936, a man named Mark Shackleman was working as a night watchman at a school that was a former convent. His job entailed that he walk all of the grounds of the school to make sure that everything was as it should be. The school grounds included several old buildings, an orchard, and a few large fields that contained Native American burial mounds. One night, while making his rounds, Mr. Shackleman noticed a figure bent down and digging into the burial mounds. He stated that the figure appeared canine in the way that it was digging. It wasn't until it stood up on two feet that Mr. Shackleman realized that he wasn't dealing with a typical animal. He appeared to be looking at what could only be described as a werewolf-like creature. Standing at around six feet tall, the animal was said to have a canine-like face and a man-like muscular body that was covered in fur and smelled of rotting meat. Mr. Shackleman stated that the creature looked at him, let out a horrific howl, and ran off into the nearby woods. Thoroughly shaken but determined to do his job, Mr. Shackleman returned to the school the next night and once again began his patrol of the school grounds. Unbelievably, the creature was back again and appeared to be digging again into the burial mounds. When the beast noticed Mr. Shackleman this time, it opened its mouth and revealed huge fangs and then let out a growl that the man said he would never forget. This was the last time that Mr. Shackleman would encounter the beast and stories of it would remain few and far between until the 1980s and 1990s. During the 80s and 90s, sightings of the beast had increased to such a point that the local newspaper instructed one of its reporters, Linda Godfrey, to cover the strange reports. Miss Godfrey stated that in the beginning of her assignment, she didn't truly believe that the beast was a real thing. It wasn't until she interviewed dozens of witnesses that she realized that something very unusual was going on in Elkhorn and that a very real flesh and blood werewolf-like creature could truly be wandering the area known as Bray Road, hunting, scavenging for food, and terrifying anyone that even caught the smallest glimpse of it. A local woman in Elkhorn reported to Miss Godfrey that the beast had tried to enter her home during the night. When it couldn't get in, it apparently went out into the field by her home and attacked her horse. She found gashes across the terrified animal's back and later found footprints of the animal that were around 12 inches long. Many locals reported to Miss Godfrey that they had seen the beast while driving along Bray Road. Most times it was crouched on the ground, eating roadkill. Some actually witnessed the creature crossing the road in front of their vehicle, causing them to slam on their brakes and stare in disbelief as the hulking figure quickly ran across the road. In 1999, on a rainy Wisconsin day, an 18-year-old girl was driving down Bray Road headed to her home. Suddenly, she felt her tire run something over. She slammed on the brakes and jumped out of her car, panicked at the thought of what she might have mistakenly hit. When she got to the front of her car, there was no evidence that she had ran anything over. That is, until she looked to her left and saw a hulking, seven-foot-tall, wolf-like creature standing on two legs staring at her with blood on its fur. Absolutely terrified, the young woman sprinted back to the safety of her car and locked her doors. Just as she was driving away, the creature leapt onto her car, but slid off because the car was still wet from the rain. Miss Godfrey decided to talk with Walworth County Animal Control Officer John Fredrickson. When she mentioned to him that she wanted to talk about sightings of the strange creature, she said that he then pulled out a yellow file folder that had one simple word printed on it, werewolf. For years, Ms. Godfrey continued researching and interviewing witnesses. She eventually went on to write a book called The Beast of Bray Road, 
hailing Wisconsin's werewolf. In the book, she details people's encounters with the strange beast and offers possible explanations and even Native American connections to the creature. Miss Godfrey has said, quote, There is a high probability that everyone is not always seeing the same thing. There could be a biological, physical animal seen by some, while others see phantoms or supernatural entities from a variety of sources. A few may be misidentifications or hoaxes, end quote. In 2005, a horror movie called The Beast of Bray Road was also released. It is said to be loosely based on actual accounts of the sightings of the werewolf in Walworth County. Thank you for watching Twisted Willow Pictures. Until next time, sweet dreams.